Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woken. I'm here with Marvel Snap, a game that I illegally found the APK for and started playing. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't get into the beta, but since it's an Android beta, if you don't actually lock up anything, you can just find the APK, which I learned because I played Dokkan with mods for very many years. So I understand the whole getting APK stuff and doing all that thing. So before you ask, yes, it's still, as of this video, only on Android. I think it's slowly coming out to other stuff, starting with the Philippines for some reason. Um, you can just find the APK and install it yourself. I think there's a process. I had to do it. I had to download some extra bits in order to rename the APK file and actually download it and then actually manually install it, but it wasn't too hard. Um, so if you want to go for that effort, go for it. So good luck to you. Um, none of the process is wiped, which is the reason I decided to go through all that. So this is what I got so far. I may as well show the deck. Oh, if you're actually curious about how to do stuff, I think D3 does a pretty good job of explaining stuff, but I'll explain it. Basically, your level determines when you get cards. So you have a collection level, and you start all the way back here at level one. You can go here, and the cards you get are completely random as far as I can tell. And the reason I know that, and I think at a certain point, it's put into boxes. Like I'm currently in collection one, but once you hit the 200 something, you'll enter I think something else, I don't know what that's called, I have to finish getting everything in box one. But basically, you are forever holding to these beginning cards until the end of time, basically. Which is an interesting way of doing it, you will basically get every single card. But as you rank up, which is what I hit, you will start to run into people who have the actual combos. Um, Moon Girl being a big one, you will see Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, and if you just don't get Moon Girl, as you can see here, I had to wait for 142. I know a guy who's currently at level 190, and he does he has not gotten Moon Girl at all yet. And you can see here, I'm still missing a good chunk of cards. Like, I only just got Nova and stuff like that. So that's basically the way you get cards. I think it's an interesting way of doing it. I think it's going to be less, it's going to be very hard to get into the game in the long term if all the good because here's the thing about card games uh the new cards are always better if they're not is if they're not the best cards you're gonna start running into a problem of well why should i ever play anything else i already have the best cards so yeah we'll see how that plays out but yeah this is the this is one of the deck i'm moving which is all focused around I have many decks, but I finally was able to get enough stuff to, to get the multiple man deck. So that's what I'm going to play with for this video. I have Double Dinosaur, I have Moon Girl and stuff like that. But I also like the multiple man thing because it's funny. So basically what you do is that you want to create a whole bunch of different copies of... Um... Multiple man. And you make them as strong as possible. Oh man, I really don't. Okay, I'm going to save Nova. Nova, you basically want Nova to die. But the thing is, is that he's very vulnerable if you just leave him out there, which I've come to learn. Yeah, so. Also, the locations will differ and change on stuff. Ooh, Carnage. That's pretty good. Okay, let's see. I think I'll play... Oh, if I get so, I'll get so screwed. And you know what? Screw it. It's fine. I'll put a multiple man here. And I'll end my turn. Forge, interesting. Multiple man is there. All right, let's see, what was it, the final one? The cards with the highest power here have plus three power. Okay. So here's basically what Multiple Man does. So I'll play Doctor Strange, and his ability is move my hard, highest attack person to his location. And here's what's gonna happen, is that Multiple Man is my highest card with the highest attack. So he's gonna grab Multiple Man, and he'll move him over here. And then Multiple Man, We'll go back over there. Okay, let's see. This guy's gonna snap on me, so that can only mean one thing: is that he's about to go completely nutso on me. Okay, let's see. I think I wanna. Hmm. Okay, so I think I wanna go here. Here, I'll have two more. So. Uh. Hmm. So I think I'll go here. I'll go here, and then I'll. Oh, I actually messed up a little bit, but it's fine. It's fine. 
I should have put multiple man somewhere else. Actually, no, it is fine because I have a copy of multiple man here. I'm dumb dumb. It's okay. So here's what happens when you have Nova and you have someone like Carnage. He'll destroy Nova. And everyone gets stronger. Ooh. Am I gonna risk it for the biscuit on this one? I think the answer is yes. Basically, I want the Hulkbuster armor to get into multiple man, and if it does, it's gonna be very funny. But it's a risk. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Also, this guy snapped at me. Basically, when you think you're winning, you snap your opponent. Oh, damn it, it hit strange. It's fine. So this guy's currently fighting for this. Oh, oh, that's bad. Actually, no, that's perfect for me. He also does know what we're gonna be doing, but it's fine. Uh, damn, I would've liked to have Iron Man, so I think this works out. Let's see. Multiple man will move here. It'll be 11 to three. Over there will be an 18. Let's go. Let's run it. Let's see what he does. So I have 21 power there. I have 5 power there, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. I think, actually, now it goes to a tie, and I think I win the tie. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I really like the multiple man deck. I think it's funny, because you just. Out of all the cards to make crazy busted. Why multiple man? <laughs> the X-Men. The X-Men character, everyone's favorite, multiple man. But they made him really good. So I messed up with him because I'm still trying to learn multiple man really. Oh, that's not great. So I'm gonna add Nova here in case I get Carnage. But the squirrels being there really makes it a target for um also not great. Okay. I'm gonna put him here. Then because he's my next card, okay. I'll save it for next turn. I currently don't have any move cards for a multiple man, so that kinda sucks. Ooh! He basically stopped me. That's not good. That's also not good. <laughs> oh my god. This is all terrible. Mmm. can't play here. I think I just lose, don't I? Oh no, that's not good. Let's see how this goes, but I think I lose. Yeah, no one expects the plus four Nova. Moon girl, huh? It's not good for me. So sometimes the locations will just completely screw you like that. There was no way for me to win. I don't think so anyway. Actually, I should have kept playing. The 2 3 cost was a real motherfucker, <laughs> for sure. But it's easy to just kind of give up when you have one. I didn't want him to leave before he snapped. If he snapped, I would have lost two points. But one point is nothing for me. I literally just won, like, eight a little while ago. So it's all good. Let's see what we got here. You play card here, shuffle three rocks into your deck. It's fine. You think I care for rocks? Ooh. Ooh, that's really good. Okay. So. Okay. I'm gonna risk it for the rocks. There. Rocks is fine. Let's see what this final location was. Not great. I'm gonna play multiple man here. So in theory, I would want to put him back Nova. See, am I actually gonna be using? Here. It's fine. I don't need the extra energy. Ooh. 
that's potentially very bad. But we're fine for now. That's funny. God. <laughs> I'm so screwed in terms of rocks, but I don't care. Have the Shadowlands. <laughs> it's so strong the ninja now has power. That's hilarious. Alright. Now he does have a little bit more stuff to work with than me. So I think I want to put him here. The next turn, Heimdall. Move them all over here. Okay, yeah, sure. I think he still has a very good chance of winning and beating me, but we'll see what he plays. He doesn't know that I took his carnage. That's unfortunate for him. No, I didn't take his carnage. I took something else. Okay. I think I win here, so I'm gonna snap. Let's see what goes. Oh, snap. He probably has two devil dinosaurs or something. Let me see how much hands does he have. Got a pretty big hand. He could very easily win this still. But I like his confidence of saying, no, I win. So yeah, there's multiple men. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's no way he wins. There's no way, my dude. He's gonna be strong, though. I think they're both sixes. Yeah, still not good enough, though. He's also not good enough. This game is a lot of fun. I suggest, uh, whenever it comes available, I think it's worth searching out for the APK if you're into that kind of stuff, if you're able to figure it out and do things like that. Um, I've been having a whole lot of fun with it, as you can see there. Uh, I think there's a lot of fun variations of kind of decks you can run that isn't just multiple man. Like I said, there's Devil Dinosaur, there's an entire deck based around dying. The only thing I have a problem with is specifically that sometimes it's up to RNG, which I guess to be fair with cards in general, it always is, but I always feel like, I don't know, it's, it, I, mm, it's really weird. So in order to get more, I may as well show the collection part. All you need to do is go in here and then increase it. And also the variants, which you can see here. I think the only way this game really makes money is off of variants, in which you can buy. But I guess the season pass. The previous one, the one before I joined in, was not. You could use in-game gold, but for this one, for some reason, they decided that now we are charging ten bucks. I don't know why or whatever. Their choice. Um, as you can see here, they've got some deals and stuff like that. But your main thing is that the variants. And the nice thing about the variants is that they actually level up different. So as you can see here, I have an iron heart, and they also give you free variants as well. This one levels up independent of that one. I think I have one for the for the thing that you can see here. My cats are fighting, so that's basically the end of the video, everyone. Goodbye, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>